All right, black Americans, let me give you some tips from a black prepper. Um, pop dogs. So when you purchase a puppy, let me give you a little bit of a tip. Don't buy chihuahuas. Don't buy little small little breeds. Listen, if you want to have a breed like that for a pet, that's great. But if you're going to get a dog for a homestead, you want to get a dog to protect a large plot of land or even your personal home, you want to get a dog with some size. German Shepherd, Doberman, American Bully, Pit Bull, you know, I mean, uh, Anatolian uh, Shepherd, you know, you, you got you got even the Border Collie. I mean, that could be a good protection dog. This is uh, Tino. This is a short for Valentino. He's my wife's dog. But I'm training him to be a protection dog. I'm training him to, to actually guard my property. You want to get a dog that's good for... Uh, that's that's good as close to the weather that, weather that you're in as possible. Um, I'm in an area that's cold a lot, so I picked a German Shepherd because German Shepherds can do well in cold weather typically. But you know, don't get a pit bull and try to put him out near a mountain because it's going to get cold. Pit bulls not going to do well outside. You got to keep him inside or have some kind of structure. I can at least leave him outside, you know, in a lot of cold weather, and he's fine. He's perfectly fine. <laughs> if you look at the amount of fur that he has. He's, he was bred for that. He was bred in Washington State where it gets cold. In fact, his mother and father, when I drove 14 miles to go pick up him, him and his sister, his mother and father was outside. It was like 19 degree weather and they were fine. <laughs> they, cause they, they, his mother and father actually get a lot more uh, furrier than this. He's actually a little, he has a lot, a lot less fur than what they have and he's not full grown yet. So he's gonna have a, a lot more fur. Um, you saw his little sister. I don't know if you saw the other vid vid videos, but she's a little fluff ball. Um, and pretty much I, I, I get I got this breed and I picked this breed because I wanted an all-purpose breed that I could train at the same time easy to train but also has the the necessary qualities for the environment that I'm in you know German Shepherds do well in forest types of um, environments and colder and, and colder climates and also they no they don't freak out so much with the uh, large bodies of water because I have so many water sources on my property and German Shepherds love water and uh, Tino come on Tino Right. Come on, Tino. He's being a puppy right now. Come on, Tino. Come on. Good boy. Yeah. One of the first things you want to teach him is how to recall or how to come when you call him. He did it kind of slow that time. We got to work on that, buddy. We got to work on that. But you're on, you're only seven months old. You're allowed to some mistakes. But um, mainly the main thing you want to focus on is getting the dog breed that's going to actually protect your home and dog breed that you can actually train understand that most dogs will not bite even in self-defense they won't bite you they won't hurt you because they've been bred over time to be friendly towards humans and they love humans so what you gotta understand is if you get a dog that's willing to protect you um, oftentimes that dog comes from a certain line um, that was bred to protect um, like for example, you know, people get pit bulls and they think that every pit bull is, uh, is, is aggressive or they'll get in an in American bully and they think that, oh, that American bully, that, that'll, that'll definitely, definitely protect me and then they come, then come to find out, you find out those, those breeds are actually a lot friendlier than you thought. It, it, it really depends on the dog's line. Uh, a line is a certain, um, a certain breeding, uh, a certain breeding match, uh, from a, from a particular genetic line, then... Oftentimes, uh, certain lines are meant for certain things. Like, for example, you have the working line German Shepherd, which is what Tino is. But you also have the show line. You have the uh, you have DDR, uh, you got Czech dogs, you got um, you know German lines, you got uh, the American show line, which is I try to stay away from. But basically, um, you got different lines that are, that are meant for different things. So when you're shopping around for a dog and you and you and you want it to be for 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 one particular purpose make sure you find a dog for that purpose you know uh, a working line german shepherd is a good pick a very good pick because they're easy to train they're pretty understandable and there's so many youtube videos and so many channels so many trainers out there who deal with them um you, you can pick pick a pit bull um you can pick uh I mean, you've got you got you got huskies you know huskies can definitely be pretty good guardians like definitely pretty good live start guardians they could even be good homestead guardians um you know you've got uh you got a lot of breeds to choose from but the main thing that you want to focus on is picking a good breeder and also going out to that breeder and seeing the parents that's gonna be a big big thing so the parents the way you the 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 the, the reason why i traveled 14 hours because i wanted to not only see him but also his parents I want to see his parents and see how they they behave because oftentimes how their parents behave can dictate a lot of about them 
And so um, I saw his parents. His parents were oh, fantastic. They were beautiful. And he's he's a smart boy. He just ran off and came back. He wanted to go see my wife. She came out, and whenever she's out, boy, he he gets happy. But basically, um, he he and his line they were bred to be working dogs. That's what they do. And so pretty much you, you want to get a dog from a line that's bred to do what you want them to do. Like for example, if you want a hunting dog, you want a dog that has parents and grandparents and great grandparents who are all used for that purpose, you know? Um, you don't want to have <laughs> a dog that you want to try to train to be a hunting dog, but then you got a bunch of show lines in there. It's, it's just not going to work out. So um, the reason why I, I, I picked this guy, and I'm going to give you a little bit of a tip for, for what you look for. Um, it doesn't matter the price per se. Um, I've seen people sell really good dogs for a really cheap price. But let me give you a little, little bit of a heads up. If you see someone offering you a premium quality dog, you know, a working quality dog, not a pet quality dog. And pet quality, is that, that doesn't mean that's, that's, that's anything wrong with the dog. It just means that the dog um, is not um, to a certain standard, basically. You know, it's, it, can, it can be a perfectly good, good um, pet and, and perfectly good, good um, dog. It just means that they, they're, they're not from a certain standard. Right, so um, you can have a dog that's 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 pet quality. You have a dog that's that's work quality. But the thing is, is that you have to make sure that dog is meant for what you want it for. Right? If you get, if I if I were to go out and I found um, a dog that was called a working line German Shepherd, but but if but if I go to check out the parents and I don't see the parents working, I don't see the parents. Um, behaving like protection dogs I, I, if i don't see that then that then that tells me a lot and also when you buy that dog make sure you get papers because the papers will tell you a lot it'll tell you a lot about, about what's what's in that dog's lineage it'll tell you about what's in that dog's um that dog's bloodline and again it, it just it matters it matters and if you ever get a breeder who breeds for color or breeds for cosmetic stuff avoid that breeder because they're breeding for things that are ridiculous. You breed for functionality and how well that dog works and how well the dog's functions and how and and that dog's temperament. You do not breed to color or to other silly cosmetic things because that oftentimes leads to health defects. The reason why he's so healthy is because he was bred to work. He was bred to be a healthy dog, to be functional, to be to be and to, to be a dog that is, you know, sound in terms of physical characteristics, in terms of temperament. You know, I've only had him for about like a week, and honestly, he's been one of the easiest dogs I've, I've ever trained. Um, very, very simple, because he's bred for that. So, again, you want to get a look at the parents, you want to get a look at the papers, and you want to get a look at, you know, the dog's lineage. And, and get into the habit of doing genetic testing. Genetic testing will tell you a lot, too. Now, you can get it, get, you know, you can go search online to find, you know, places to get genetic testing. But I'm going to tell you that right now... A lot of people who sell working line German Shepherds or American Bullies or or, or, or like like a lot of breeds, breeds they're 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 actually selling mixed mixed breed dogs, um, or, or or dogs that are not functional in terms of what you may want them for. So what 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 you gotta understand is when you buy these dogs to you know do your homework, because you know you, you're gonna end up spending a lot of money on these dogs and then you know you're gonna end up wasting your money because you're gonna find out that these that 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 you know. <laughs> You might find some nice deal. Oh man, I, I just found a Doberman for 200 bucks. Yeah, and, and the Doberman didn't come with any papers or anything else. So you don't know what you're actually getting. So make sure you get papers. Make sure you get a, a good look at the parents. Make sure you know what you're getting. All right. And you'll get the same results that I got because every dog that I brought is perfectly suited for what I need them for. And I got them from a little Bulgarian woman named Mima. Um, Spasnova, she's over in Puyallup in Washington. If you ever guys, uh, guys ever, ever want to get a German Shepherd, just hit me up and I'll send you her way. Um, she's pretty reasonable too. I got him at seven months old, um, and she's been working with him already, doing a lot of training with him. And um, I got lucky. I got him at a discount. Um, you know, you you're gonna pay you know sometimes hundreds of thousands of dollars, hundreds. And maybe thousands, depending on the breed. But spend your money wisely and do your research, man. Seriously. 